Hi, this is Adrian Shales at BN Health and Hope of the Generations Church. I'm bringing some scriptures to you today in a way that I hope will help you get more of the Word of God into your heart. I know that as overcomers, we need more of the scriptures and the Word of God in our lives. We need the Word of God in our mind and in our heart and in our spirit. And the scriptures say that we should put on the mind of Christ. The Word of God is the mind of Christ, so we need to get more of that into us. Also, knowing the Word of God helps train us in the law of God and that we can know His ways and walk in His ways. And when we say from Psalm 119, order my steps in your Word, that we know what His Word is so we can order our steps to that. There are blessings for doers of the Word. We want to be blessed and we want to be doers of the Word. God says, if you love me, obey my commands. So therefore, we need to know His Word so we can obey it. Also, having more of the Word in your life helps keep you from sin. In Psalm 119, 9, 10, and 11, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to your Word. Verse 10, With my whole heart have I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Verse 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. There are many benefits for getting more of the word of God into your life. And the Holy Spirit will remind you of the word of God that you've tucked away into your heart. There are different ways to get the word of God into your life. Sometimes we just need to copy it down and write it out. Maybe you're doing a word study or you're doing a topical study on trust or how to be a person of love. Look up scriptures that have to do with those topics and put them all together in a notebook and read them and think about them and pray them. Sometimes we just need to memorize this word. We need to get it inside of us. We need to get it where it is portable. So even if you don't have your notebook or your Bible right there with you, you have it hidden in your heart. Sometimes it helps to memorize it with someone. Our kids memorize scripture in the Overcomers Academy every week. And we sit with the kids and we memorize it together. And I find that with the kids, and it actually helps me too, if we make up like hand signs and signals and motions with the scripture, it's even easier to remember it. So we do that with the kids and I'll have them test me and help me get it um, where I feel like I know it good enough that I can take it with me in my heart wherever I go. It also helps to do something like this, to have it recorded where you can listen to it again and again and again. I'll take an app on my smartphone. It's just a voice recording app. It usually comes with every smartphone. And I'll collect a group of scriptures that I'm wanting to just have in my life. And I will read them. And sometimes I get my kids to read them with me. We'll take turns reading the same scripture because I want to hear it again and again and again so I can get it into my heart. I like to do this and it's helping me and I want to share this with you. So for the topic of what does the Bible say about trials and temptations, I'm going to read through a series of verses. Some of them, before I go into the scripture, I'll just give you a gist of what the scripture will be about. So you can kind of get the big picture view so you know what it is saying. And then I'm going to read them sometimes three and four and five times putting a different emphasis on different words. So when you hear it the first time, instead of moving on into the next scripture, it's going to be like on repeat. So you can hear it again and again and again. And before too long, you're going to be able to say it with me. And this will be very helpful. And maybe you're not at a place that you want to memorize this whole list, but you just need to wash yourself in the water of the word and you need to listen to this on repeat. So you can download this to your phone and you can play it. You can burn it to a CD, listen it, 
listen to it in the car or on the go or in your home, in the kitchen. And I hope this is a real blessing to you in a way just to connect through the Word and to see the Word of God produce fruit in your life. So what does the Bible say about trials and temptations? Trials may be used by God to strengthen your faith, to refine you, and to bring glory to God. 1 Peter 1.7 in the King James Version is what I will start with. I will read all King James. Sometimes I take out the these, thous, and the ths, and the old English just to make it relatable in a way that I can memorize easier. There are some scriptures I just love the old English of it. And so I'll just go with what the flow is, but I wanted to let you know they will all be in the King James Version. 1 Peter 1.7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus. Now there's a little list here, praise, honor, and glory, PHG. So just think PHD, G, PHG, praise, honor, glory, PHG, praise, honor, glory, PHG, praise, honor, glory. Let's go over it again. First Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto the PHG, unto the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1 7. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus. 1 Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1.7 That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, at the appearing of Jesus Christ, at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. John 15, 2. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. 
and every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bear forth more fruit that it may bear forth more fruit, that it may bear forth more fruit. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bear forth more fruit. James 1, 12. James 1 12. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. James 1 12. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. James 1.12 James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him which the Lord has promised to them that love him, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him, to them that love him to them that love him, to them that love him. James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. James 1.12 The suffering you experience does have an end to it. 1 Peter 5.10 But the God of all grace who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. 1 Peter 5.10 But the God of all grace, but the God of all grace, but the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. 1 Peter 5.10 But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory, by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. 1 Peter 5.10 But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. 1 Peter 5.10 out of Jesus' sufferings, he knows how to bring you help and aid. 
Hebrews 2.18 For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 the Greek root word for succor means to help or to bring aid. And that means God is able to bring you aid and help during your temptation. I want to tell you, you can do this with God. 1 Corinthians 10.13 There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape, that ye may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man, but such as is common to man but such as is common to man, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, 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 but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able are able, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape? But will with the temptation also make a way to escape? That you may be able to bear it. 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 That you may be able to bear it that you may be able to bear it, that you may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 We've got to believe that blessings are on their way when we walk in God's ways. Matthew 5, 11, and 12 Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice! And be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. 
for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Matthew 5, 11 through 12. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Blessed are you when men shall revile you. 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 Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. For so persecuted they the prophets. For so persecuted they the prophets. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Matthew 5, 11 through 12. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Matthew 5, 11 through 12. You know, we are to get excited in our tribulations that God will work great things into our character during this time. Romans 5, verses 3 through 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that the tribulation works patience and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope makes not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Romans 5, 3 through 5. And not only so, and not only so, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. 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 And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. Knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope makes not ashamed. And hope makes not ashamed. And hope makes not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. By the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Romans 5, verses 3 through 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience, 
and patience experience and experience hope. And hope makes not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Romans 5, 3 through 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience and patience experience and experience hope. And the hope makes not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Romans 5, 3 through 5. I believe that we are to find joy and that God will do great things in us through these trials. James 1, verses 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. James 1, 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. But let patience have her perfect work. 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 That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. James 1, 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Did you know that God will comfort us during our tribulations? 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3 through 4. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of mercies. The Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, and the God of all comfort, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, 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 who comforts us in all our tribulation. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all tribulation, 
that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted by God, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3-4 through 4. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. I am so glad our sufferings now don't even compare to the glory that God will work within us. Romans 8:18. 8, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8:18. 8, for I reckon, for I reckon, for I reckon, for I reckon, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, that the sufferings of this present time, that the sufferings of this present time, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared are not worthy to be compared, are not worthy to be compared, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, with the glory which shall be revealed in us, with the glory that shall be revealed in us, with the glory which shall be revealed in us, with the glory which shall be revealed in us in us. Romans 8:18. 8, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8:18. 8, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Praise be to God, he will deliver us out of all our afflictions. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalms 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 24, 19.
we can take heart that our afflictions are light and short compared to the greatness of our eternal reward. 2 Corinthians 4.17 For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 Christ suffered and overcame, therefore we can follow His example and we can overcome. 1 Peter 2.21 For even hereunto where you are called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. 1 Peter 2.21 For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us. Because Christ also suffered for us. Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example leaving us an example, leaving us an example. For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, 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 that you should follow his steps. 1 Peter 2, 21, for even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. 1 Peter 2, 21. For even hereunto were you called. For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. 1 Peter 2 21. Thank you for listening. Thank you for participating. I'm excited to see how the Word of God will be multiplied into your life. Remember how it says in Isaiah 55, verse 11 and 12. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands." I encourage you to keep working on these scriptures. And sometimes it's just for a season. Sometimes we just need to sow different parts of the word into our life. Really, it's helpful to sow things into your life before you even need them. These are great scriptures to sow into your heart before you even are entering into a trial or a trial is coming your way. That way you're preparing yourself to do well in the trial. You're preparing yourself by putting on the mind of Christ and you're preparing yourself so when that trial comes, you've got the sure foundation of the Word of God to begin applying it to your life and you will find 
that there will be new fruit in your life. And as you learn to overcome even better through these trials, God will equip you to be able to help other people in their trials. And you will be such a blessing to them. You will help bring them closer to God and help bring blessings into their life. Also related to this download, if you look on beinhealth.com, I have a blog where I talk about what does the Bible say about trials and temptations. And I have the written out scriptures there. I have a downloadable scripture list that will go with this. And I have more information on what the Bible says about trials and temptations. Have a great day and keep overcoming.